So I'm going to start this video off by just saying that I'm not an expert on bikes. As you'll see from the rest of my channel, I'm more into stuff with engines, the stuff you have to pedal. So I'm not going to claim myself to be an expert, but I do know a little bit about them. I probably ride two or three thousand miles a year at best in the summer. Um, I'm a bit odd in many respects, but in this one that I choose to use a mountain bike for all my road riding, because really I'm just too cheap to buy two. I'm going to be hassling around with two. Uh, if you clicked on the video for its title, then you'll know that this isn't a particularly expensive bike. Probably only, well, I only paid about £300 for it by the time or I put all the accessories in. You'd probably get it even cheaper than that on a deal. It's a uh, Carrera Vengeance. You'll know that these are pretty much half his own brand. I'm sure they don't actually make them, but I don't know what they uh, get the parts from, but that's pretty much what it is. This bike's pretty new. It's only got 59 miles on it. I've only had it for about a month. This is the uh, first time I rode it, as you can see, in the uh, highlands of Scotland at the moment, which is a long, long, long way from where I am. About 600 miles. Well, surprisingly, it doesn't really look that different, especially when you really live in a uh, rural area. You sort of uh, get the picture. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad bike. It's got eight on that side, three on that side, which I think they pretty much, well, they do, they times it so it's 24 speed supposedly, 27 and a half inch frame. Uh, it's not got Decent shocks on it, really. These are SR Sun Tour. They're uh, they're not great. Um, they're not adjustable. Well, they've got preload on them, but they're not lockout or anything like that. The previous one I did have lockout on, but I wasn't that impressed with it anyway. It just broke after about 200 miles. And also towards the end of its life, I thought it had about six or seven thousand miles on it. They gained an awful lot of frontwards and backwards play to the point where it was almost dangerous when you're braking. Obviously these aren't like that at the moment. I don't know how long it's going to take to get like that, but I don't really care. But the price, I mean, decent shocks have cost you the price of this entire bike, so I'm not complaining. Tires are okay, they come with it as standard. I run them pretty high, because I tend to do mostly road riding. About 45 psi. As I say, I do use a mountain bike. But um, actually, that's not just because I'm too cheap. It's also because I like the uh, the confidence of the thicker tyres, etc. Especially because I'm not really serious. So I'm not average speed of like 30 mile an hour. Probably an average speed of about 15. So I, it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, it's an aluminium frame. So it's reasonably light. Uh, it doesn't take that much effort to push. I did have a steel bike quite a number of years ago. It's about 99 quid, one of these supermarket crap deals. That was awful. You could barely move it. Uh, the front and, front and back disc brakes are standard. They're pretty good. These shocks, by the way, they're air shocks, not fluid shocks. Which is another sort of downside, but again, for me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the seat's relatively comfortable. It's pretty thin. It's thinner than most of the ones I've had. But it's not awful. Uh, the little de digital display I've got on it was really cheap. It's like six quid from the same place you sell it. I only really like them to record the total number of miles the bikes do because I find that quite interesting, but that's just because I'm a bit of a saddo. Uh, gear set, I think it's Shimano. Yeah, Shimano. I don't think it's a bad gear set. You can obviously get worse, but there's a lot, lot better out there. Sorry if you can hear dripping, by the way, it's just this slightly run-down barn. But you can't hardly complain again. This is a place called Gareloch, if you're wondering. It's uh, about 70 miles north of Loch Ness. So, yeah, anyway. The lights I've got. USB rechargeables. LEDs, obviously. 2017, you can hardly get halogens, can you? That's it. Uh, yeah, in all, not a bad bike. 
If you want to see more of the stuff I'm not a bit of a clueless on, then surf the rest of my channel. Find quad bikes and motorbikes. Well, not motorbikes yet. But uh, I haven't had one since I've started it, but I'll probably soon have one up. But uh, anyway, yeah, cheers and stay subscribed.